Good morning, Doug Levi, Strategic Insurance Services, another great day in Tampa Bay here. And I'm excited for what I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, always looking to bring you guys different ideas and ways that you can grow and utilize technology to create a pipeline and get your business going. So today's training is gonna be on something I signed up for recently for the agency um, last week, and I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm just kind of starting to get into it myself, but it's called Lead Leaper. Um, and here's basically what it is. It, it helps you to scrape LinkedIn to get emails and contact info, okay? Um, so I do have this for what it's worth. Uh, I have a subscription to it that I'm paying for that you all would have access to. Um, it is an extension that you need to download though onto Google Chrome. So uh, step one would be if you go and you go Chrome App Store, and this is kind of cool. I mean, I'm learning more and more about this, but that the, you know, that there's like apps for websites, right? So if you go to Chrome Web Store and then you type in uh, Lead Leaper, uh, let's see here, Lead Leaper, there it is. And I've already downloaded it, so it won't come up again um, but basically you just click and download it um, and then <clears throat> the login I will um, I will certainly share and post is uh, um, it's my email address Doug it gets strategic INS and then uh, John 1010 exclamation point so here, here's basically the concept though um, so let's say I'm on LinkedIn and I've got lots of contacts on LinkedIn and I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> I could certainly do a better job of, uh, you know, connecting and using LinkedIn to actually generate business. <clears throat> so here's Kathy Sapp. So let's say I go and I look at Kathy and I'm like, oh, Kathy looks like a cool person. She's with Teladoc. We could network together. We could be connected, blah, blah, blah. Well, again, LinkedIn, you really don't get a ton of info. Now you could try and message here but you don't get a ton of info. So now if I click on this little extension for Lead Leaper, it's now gonna pull up and it's basically gonna try and search and find any info it can on Kathy Sapp. Okay, so for example, right here, it already found her email address, okay? Um, and now what I could do, obviously I could email her directly. <clears throat> if I click that email, it will also take me right into Lead Leaper and it will save her info almost in like a little basic CRM. And then um, you have an easy way to connect and, and contact her, right? Um, and then you can also send and create uh, templates. So like I created a template the other day on referrals. And this was something I'm working on in terms of generating mortgage referrals. Um, and so if you wanted to work on that and create a template, you would go to templates, add a template, you could really create whatever you want, you know, hey, you know, and they even have this little thing to do it quickly, like hi, lead first name, right? So it could be that, um, you know, um, you know, looking to connect with uh, professionals like yourself to see how we could network and help grow one another's business. What's your calendar like for lunch or coffee? We'll do coffee. Coffee's less learning. Coffee next week or following week. <clears throat> and then you can just put your name in there. And off you go, right? And I'll even do this. I'll save this as coffee. I'll call it coffee. And here's what I would say is, um, you know, think about this, how many people may connect with you on LinkedIn, but how many actually try and take it offline at some level. What's also cool is in this lead leaper, once you're logged in, okay, it's going to start saving all your people in here, like a little database. Some of them, if the info is available, it will find, um, phone numbers as well. Okay. So I know I'd gotten some where we'd actually found like a phone number. So it'll basically kind of scrape through and grab any info it can. So here was one where it actually got the phone number, right? And then in here as well, you have a place where you can put notes, you know, um, 
spoke with Tatiana and having coffee, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can really put whatever you want. Um, and again, there's a little, little tracking along here. So my concept, part of my concept is, and I would encourage you guys to do this, <clears throat> you know, mortgage brokers and mortgage processors can be great referral sources for us. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. I was at a conference recently and I heard this said, and I thought this was so true, that a bad mortgage broker is oftentimes better than a great realtor uh, in terms of referrals as a COI, and here's why. So every mortgage has to have insurance tied with it. Think about that. So every time there's a mortgage, even if it's, and especially it's a refinance and purchase, doesn't matter what it is, there's gotta be insurance tied with it. If I'm a realtor, okay, and we work with a lot of realtors, and we work with, we work with some of the top realtors in Tampa Bay, and some of them are friends of mine, but you may only get half their business because on the sales side, there's not as urgent of a concern about homeowner's insurance. So think about this. So I'm a realtor, I'm helping sell a home, Right, so let's say somebody I'm working with a realtor and they're selling my home. It's normally gonna be the buy side realtor. In other words, whoever the realtor would be for the person who's buying my home that could potentially generate that lead. So in essence, you can kind of miss out on some of those referrals. Another way to look at it is try and network with realtors that do a lot of buy side transactions. But that being said, so part of my thought process here was looking to, um, scrape LinkedIn for mortgage processors. And, and so I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. So here was what I was starting to do. And I just started this last week. And again, you know, a lot of times I have ideas and things I want to share with you guys. And then it's a matter of, of taking massive action. I love, you know, Tony Robbins says, and some of the best uh, people that are like really big in professional development and sales and leadership, it's like, you got to take massive action. Right. Uh, so anyway, the thought would be you could go to LinkedIn, you could start typing in mortgage broker, okay? So let's say I just type in mortgage broker, okay? Now there's 168,000 mortgage brokers so far that it's showing on LinkedIn, okay? Um, at least on my search right now. Now I could then narrow it down and say, okay, I want just the United States. Um, I want only first and second generation or first and second connection, okay? Um, you know, there's all sorts of ways to filter. I wanna target Fairway Independent, I wanna target Keller Williams, whoever it may be, right? Um, and there's, again, more filters. You know, I could say, okay, now I want just in the Tampa area and the Orlando area, okay? So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna click apply, okay? So now we're down to, uh, that's interesting. It actually went to 98,000. Okay. Long story short. Now I've got all these people here. Okay. So now what I can do is I can go and I can click on my lead leaper. And if you look, it's searching this whole page. Okay. Do you see this? It's, it searched this whole page right here. Okay. And then, <clears throat> So I'm going to say current capture current page of leads it says do not close the tab continue your search your lead bot search okay so we'll click start <laughs> okay so it's going to be searching and pulling all those people in and now I will have a database of people to go and prospect out to again I think this is a really, really strong idea that leverages technology in a smart way, allows you to capture information from LinkedIn, <coughs> excuse me, where you can really see and kind of get to know someone a little bit even before you meet them. <coughs> and what I would probably say after this is completed, and next steps would be, once I'm in here and they would all show up, would be to kind of look through them a little more uh, in, in depth, if you will, um, and then create the uh, action plan out to them. Um, and like I said, it could be, um, I created a template the other day called your next referral. You can feel free to use this. Um, and this is something that I'm working on um, to create a uh, lead generation program for all you guys. 
uh, to continue to get more leads. So I just, I call it and I put your next referral. And so this would be the email that I would be sending out or you would be sending out to the contact. So, you know, Susie Mortgage Processor is gonna get an email that's gonna say your next referral and it'll say, you know, hi Susie, we know when it comes to your busy job, time's money, gathering all docs and coordinating a home, a home closing is a tense position. Part of your closing requires insurance, that's why I'm reaching out today. We wanna to be a part of your closing team, here's a few benefits of working with our team speed and then I kind of highlight that we're going to get back to you quickly and I would strongly suggest if you do this you would have to get back to them quickly. Um, I even put something out there that all quotes back to you within an hour and a half and especially as you're starting off you should be able to do that. There's no doubt. Um, I heard a, a presentation recently from one of the top mortgage brokers in the southeast and he said speed by far is the most important thing. You know uh, when these guys are looking for proposals they want them and they want them quickly. Uh, so, and then I even kind of put, if we don't meet that benchmark, we'll donate $10 to your charity of choice. We've got 15 companies to work with. We're a top-notch agency. I highlight that we're, uh, we won the best practices award, putting us in the top 1%, 195 Google reviews. And then also we have a gift card program. And yet this is something additional that I'm working on where I'm going to start doing for every referral that gets sent our way. I want to send them a $25 gift card and then every time we close it, a $50 gift card total. Okay, so $25 for, for referral and then $50, uh, another $25 for, um, for closing it. And I actually need to update that there. Um, so basically every time someone can earn up to, you know, $50 per, per opportunity. And I just put, so for your next insurance referral, give us a try. And the state actually just changed this and allows us to now do up to $100 per you know, per sort of unlicensed person referral type situation. So, um, and again, you can feel free to tweak that, right? You know, change it, tweak it if you like, how you want, um, you know, here, and I'm gonna put obviously, and again, you can put your email, it doesn't really matter, right? Like you can fill this in uh, how you want. And um, so I'll put like our website here, strategic. Um, I'd also put your cell. Uh, and <clears throat> I'll throw a little logo in there. Let's see how that looks. Okay. So now you've got, again, a really easy way to reach out to people. Okay. Although that logo is like ridiculous. Um, so Now when you would go in and you would have people in here that you would want to contact, okay, and you can see it's already been pulling a lot of these people in. It's pulled in 14 leads, okay? So I may just try this with Larissa right now, okay? So she's here, and now this is a little more of a direct one, right? Where it's literally like, okay, you know, I may just email her right now and see what happens. And so we'll go and we'll pull down the templates, we'll put on next referral, and then we'll click select. Now I'm just gonna send it, bam, just like that. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is one. So her, we had her phone, but not her email address. Her email address didn't pull up, but her phone did. Okay, so again, you're gonna have to kind of look. Some of these are gonna pull different things, some of them are gonna pull you know, may pull the phone, may pull the email. You really just have to look and see which one's, what it pulls through. Um, so again, not saying this is a perfect system by any means. Here's one for Cash Cow Mortgage. We'll try them. It looks like we do have their email. Okay, and we'll do select. Okay, and we'll click email. And we'll click send. Can continue it's wanting to sign into my account because it's literally going to come from my account. And there we go. So we just email now to Cash Cow, right? So, again, like anything else in life, guys, um, and in marketing, you've got to try different things and you can't be afraid to try, you can't be afraid to stumble a little bit. Um, and you can see this is the email that went out there right now, okay? Right, so um, I definitely encourage you guys, take a look at this, 
look at the video, play around with the website, with the lead leaper, reach out to me if you've got questions. And as always, dream big and make it happen. Have a great day, guys.